Okay, in this problem, uh, a little bit different, we're asked to find uh, what are called partial derivatives. And uh, this uh, notation right here is uh, reads as the partial of z over the partial of x, the partial of z over the partial of y. These are the two things that they're asking us to find. And so when we take the partial of z with respect to x, we want to treat y like it's a constant. And so we don't do anything at all with y. So let me just uh, take the derivative here of f of xy with respect to x. So the derivative of 3x squared, you're going to take the 2, bring it out front. 2 times 3 is 6x. Now, this 4y squared, we pretend y is just a number, and so this whole thing here is nothing more than just a number, and the derivative of a constant is 0. So we don't write anything. Now let's look at the partial of z with respect to the partial of y. This time, we're going to reverse the roles, and x is just going to be considered just to be a number. And so the derivative of 3 times x squared, remember this is all nothing more than just a number, the derivative of this is 0. And then we take the derivative of y, and we end up with 8y. Now, this notation here, this f of, with a subscript of x down here, plugging 5 in for x and negative 1 in for y, what this means is basically the same thing as this other than we're plugging 5 and negative 1 in. So you're going to see this uh, type of notation interchanged where they ask for the partial of z over the partial of x, but uh, I could have simply just said, hey, what is this? And this would just be 6x. And the same thing here, if we asked for this, then that just means take the partial of z over the partial of y also. So we've got a couple different ways that we ask this. So we want to take 5 and negative 1 and plug it in. Now there's not a y here, so we're just going to take 5 and plug it in for x, and 6 times 5 is 30. And then we do the same down here, plugging 5 and negative 1 in. Now of course there's not an x in here, and so the only thing we can plug in here is what uh, we're considering to be negative 1, which is equal to y, so we plug that in, and negative 1 times 8 is just negative 8, and, uh, and we're finished with this problem.